when we worked with Ryan Beer at the NRCS office to develop a grazing plan, one of our focuses was to retain as much rainwater or moisture on this ranch as we could. We were at uh, six pastures when we started working with Ryan. We're now up over 60 pastures. By doing that, we give plants more rest, therefore developing more root system in the soil, which helps water infiltrate into the soil and get our subsoil moisture at a higher level. We're in a kind of a fragile environment here. We don't get a lot of moisture. I think we're around that 14 inches of moisture per year normally. And this year we're in a drought. Uh, we're probably at a third of that. We have to be careful not to overgraze and lose the little bit of topsoil that we do have. We're using multi-species. We graze both cattle and sheep on this land. There's an overlap of about 40% of what sheep consume and cattle consume. Well, that leaves quite a little that one species or the other doesn't eat. So we try and take advantage of all of the stuff that we do grow on this ranch in some way or another to provide income for us. We always give pastures 45 to 60 days rest before we graze with the next species. In doing that, we're utilizing grasses that one species or the other does not utilize. Livestock numbers on this ranch, we've increased anywhere from, um, depending upon the year, from 70 to 100% uh, of what this ranch used to stock. With our multi-species, uh, we do winter graze as much as possible. We used to plan on 2,500 pounds of feed per cow to feed our cattle through the winter. We've gotten that down to about 700. We try and graze as much as possible through the winter. It all depends upon Mother Nature. We used to feed six months out of the year. We're down to two and a half. The sheep, we usually don't feed them anything but a little corn supplement. They graze all winter. And the reason we can do that is because we give the grass rest so that it can regrow and produce more forage for us. It's amazing how much you can stockpile by giving that grass rest and not grazing it over and over again, taking second, third, fourth bites off of the plant as it's trying to regrow. By doing what we're doing, in increasing our numbers and increasing the production of this um, land, we can afford the next generation an opportunity to produce food for the world.